It's wrong reader, it's the universe. I'm Ron Reader, and this is Ron Reader Digs the Universe, and tonight, the definitely racist and sexist Atlanta hate killings, which are, it must be noted, another horrific American gun massacre, the price we pay for the fucked up right-wing liberty that would have us all armed to the teeth. Freedom means murder, and murder means freedom, from El Paso to Atlanta to now Boulder. But these killings in Georgia are also a steaming pile of conceptual dog shit. A few observations. One of the first things we learned about the shooter was that even though all three businesses he targeted were Asian and six of his eight victims were Asian, we are not to think of these murders as a racist hate crime. No, they told us he was just having a bad day, struggling with a sex addiction, which you know, there's, there is no sex addiction, but, uh, but never mind all that, not racist. We are assured, we were assured of not racist by a white male Cherokee County Sheriff's Department captain who has recently been selling racist anti-Asian t-shirts online, which got him taken off the case, but not suspended or fired. Move along, folks. Nothing to see here. Yeah, right. For starters, the whole sex addiction thing is not only irrelevant, but also bullshit. The killer is a Southern Baptist, which means an embrace of purity culture, which makes out women to be foul sirens and temptresses, the wellspring from whom all male sexual desire flows. This addiction thing is just assigning blame to his victims. I mean, there is no sexual addiction. It doesn't exist, you know? I mean, sure, there's, there's your typical, standard, weird, evangelical obsession with sex. There are various and sundry uh, psychological disorders, uh, compulsive disorders that manifest in terms of sexual behavior, but not sex addiction. You can only be addicted to drugs. So the killer doesn't have an illness. He's not sick. He just hates women enough to kill them. And this is very definitely a hate crime. Violence against women. It is so normal in this country, it makes me want to throw up. We also know from his Southern Baptist Church attendance that it is highly likely that he is a Trump supporter, as the former president continues to enjoy support from some 80% of the evangelical population. If you support Kung Flu Trump, China Virus Trump, Wuhan Virus Trump, then you are a racist because Trump is also a racist. So there is no way that the Atlanta killings were not a racist hate crime. But you know, it runs deeper than that. The portrayal of Asian women in American popular culture is utterly dripping with sex, not at all dissimilar to the traditional highly sexualized portrayals of African American women. You simply cannot separate the racism and sexism on this, you know? If you're thinking that you have a sex addiction and you want to take it out on Asian women, you are killing them as both sex objects and Asians. It is straight-up intelligence insulting to claim that the day spa killings were not racist hate crimes. You, you, you know, if there is any single idea I want to get across with this show, a really good candidate for that would be that you should never, ever, ever listen to anything any conservative ever says at all about whether something is or is not racist. Their entire collection of rhetoric on the issue is aimed at making conservatives not racist, no matter how many dead bodies are bleeding on the floor. Conservative opinion on race is to be immediately disregarded on all occasions. They are not honest about race. I'm Ron Reader, and this has been Ron Reader Digs the Universe. Join me. Ron Reader, again next week for another episode of Ron Reader Digs the Universe.
Coda, given who the victims were and who the killer was, I hope everybody understands that the Atlanta hate killings are yet another violent attack in this second civil war we are now enduring, which pits conservatives against America. It's still going on.